Northern up in the Montreal area. This is Dick Byer here at interview time, and I have with me a very popular Italian star who has appeared in Montreal recently, Ilio De Paolo. Hi, Dick. How are you? Well, it's uh, I'm pretty good. <laughs> Still wrestling? Yes. I, in fact, I was uh, in there list this uh, first Wednesday. I was in Montreal. It's, since you mentioned Montreal, me and Rocca we defeated the uh, Kimuga, uh, the Ito and uh, Du Kimuga. Well, uh, they're a tough combination. I oh think. yes, very tough combination. But I think we uh, we did it this time. I was open to get a, a good partner to do it, and uh, wasn't with me and Rock. I think we are the, we had the right combination there, and we did it. Well, Argentina Rock uh, and all these fans uh, looking in are uh, aware of his ability. Dick, would you mind if I say something in Italian? I know in Montreal they got a big population of Italians. Well, I'd be glad to have you talk uh, in Italian. If I'm more to be here to parlare qua al microfono. In italiano. Che mercoledì passato io e Rocca abbiamo vinto ai giapponesi là a Montreal, al forum in Montreal. E speriamo di ritornare là in Montreal e continuare il nostro successo per il nostro tricolore. Well, <laughs> I'll have to admit, I, I can't understand Italian. I'm not much, uh, I have trouble with the English language. Well, Dick, you know, I, I, like I said in Italian, like I said to all the fans in English, too, I always be glad to go back there. And, uh, you know, for Italian, I'm an Italian myself, so I got to speak to them in Italian. Elio, how long have you been uh, wrestling? Well, I've been wrestling professional 10 years. Uh, and you, uh, you actually came over from Italy in That's 1950? Right. That's right. Uh, what kind of sports did you play in Italy? Uh, I played the uh, round ball, the kick with the feet, what they call them in here, soccer. Soccer, soccer, yeah. yeah. Soccer games and... Uh, That's what they call football in uh, Europe, isn't it? Uh, soccer? Uh, yeah, well, in Italian we call them calcio. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I play that and I... Bicycles, usually we got them like here. See, over there, over there the, the round ball, the pallone, we call them. And the bicycle, just like in here, the kids go with the baseball and football. Yeah. You know, that's the popular thing in there. Well, that's, uh, Italians have been known for their bike riding. Yeah. Well, Elio, do you expect to get up to uh, Montreal on uh, Wednesday night? Well, uh, I, I, sh future? I sure hope so. I sure hope so. After the success we had the last Wednesday, so we should uh, meet some other top uh, team or some top contender. That, uh, I'm open for any challenge anytime, and I challenge anybody in uh, Montreal. Well, I guess uh, Wednesday night is the night they wrestle in Montreal, that's isn't right. it? That's and right. I guess the, the best way to find out just what Wednesday night they'll be wrestling is to stay tuned to this channel here and uh, find out all the information and uh, read their local newspaper. That's right. That's right. Okay. Well, our interview guest has been a very popular Italian star who defeated the Kiyomuka brothers Wednesday night in Montreal, Ilio De Paolo. And Ilio, I uh, hope you come back and talk to us again sometime. You bet, Dick. It was a pleasure. Hello, everybody. Dick Byer here. You want action? You want entertainment? Then sit back and relax because... Oh, 20-minute time limit from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing 200... His opponent from Abruzzi, Italy, weighing 245, Ilio Di Paolo. Elio De Paolo against Purpo Zabisco. And it looks as though this is ball headed men's night here at the arena. I saw Killer Kalaski a while ago. As a matter of fact, we might get a little contest going between the killer and Purpo Zabisco to see who has the fewer hairs on top of his head. And while Zabisco sports a waxed mustache, which sticks on about four inches on each side of his chin. Our friend in the first spot, Killer Kalaski, has that uh, chin shredded wheat, which hangs down a little further. Elio De Paolo, a real rugged athlete, starts out with a flying drop kick. He's working on Zabisco right off the bat. Here he's got him up there for the airplane spin. This may be the end of Firpo before he even gets out of his corner almost. Joe Moscato down for the... He's got it! It's a Perpo Zabisco never knew what hit him. Elio De Paolo, and that fall must be less than a minute. Perpo's mustache is at half mast right now. One side is drooping down after that airplane spin. There's one of the quickest falls of the season with Elio De Paolo hardly getting his robe off. Here's Manny. 
28 seconds, Ilio Di Paolo. Well, you heard it, 28 seconds, Ilio Di Paolo, the winner over Firpo Zabisco, who had a short and unfruitful night's work. Ilio Di Paolo, a 28 second winner over